Yo YouTube, what's up? So, uh, a little bit of an update here. I got rid of the problem child. You know, the 579 that kept going into the shop every week. Um, got probably for the last three weeks. I haven't been in that truck. Um, the last time I was in the shop, about three weeks that I put it in there, the, uh, that was like the fourth time, uh, in a month for the same issues. So what I did is I called the owner of the company I work at right now, and I'm doing a lease purchase, as you guys know, I think. And so what I did is I called the owner up. And I was like, so, how many times does a truck need to go into the shop for the same issue before we do something about this? So, he turned around and he goes, well, I got trucks sitting on the lot. How about when you come up here next, you uh, will give you keys to every one of the trucks and you can test drive them, you can touch them, you can have them running, you can feel them, do everything you want to do with them, and you pick out what you want. So we're, we're gonna get you out, out of that 579, and we'll get you in whatever you want of what we have on, on our lot. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Three hours later, I get a phone call from one of the had people at the company saying hey we know your trucks in the shop um we know you're having problems but would you like to make money or do you just want to sit at home i was like well making money is better than doing nothing right so i turned around they flew me down to el paso texas and then uh they're like yeah recover a truck and trailer bring it back up here to Missoula Montana I get down to El Paso I look in the truck and I'm like I called him up and I'm like bro there's no way in hell I am sleeping in this truck I said this is legit a pig pen and it smells like a pig pen so they're like okay no problem um get a motel for tonight and get a motel for every night until you come up here uh give us the receipts for it we'll we'll reimburse you so we'll we'll pay for your room cool so they paid for the flight going down plus they're paying for my rooms to go up plus they're paying for my flight to go back home well i didn't get a flight going home got up to missoula and i found this truck Blue Peterbilt 386 with a Cummins motor, 13 speed, uh, APU, all that good jazz. So I was like, that's the one I want. The one thing they had to do, they had to put this in. You see this opening? Yeah. They did what I asked. I asked for a fridge. I told them that medically I need need a fridge. I need to be able to eat healthy, right? Technically, they put a fridge in. So I can't be mad. They did what I asked. But when I researched a fridge to fit this hole, they could have spent $70 more and got one to actually fit that hole, to fully fit the hole. They already spent $600 on that fridge. They could have spent another $70 more and filled that hole. But, like I said, technically they did what I asked. And they got me a different truck. So I'm not complaining. Not whatsoever. Um, so, I decided on this truck. They gave me a load of trailers to bring over by Omaha, Nebraska dropped all the trailers there 
went home, bobtailed up up to the Twin Cities from there. Was cleaning everything out, cleaning everything out. So now I gotta figure out how to get the 579 back to Missoula, right? So they're like, hey, do you wanna go down to Lincoln, Nebraska? What? With what? Well, the 579. Uh, okay, what for? Oh, to recover a load. A guy is broke down and we need that load brought to Twin Falls, Idaho by Monday morning. Oh, well, why doesn't he do it? Well, he can't get his truck in the shop till Tuesday. Okay, that explains that. Yup. So then they're like, yeah, and, and also we have a trailer sitting in St. Michael, Minnesota. Go ahead, hook up to that trailer, drive down to Lincoln, Nebraska, meet him, switch trailers with that guy. So give him the flatbed, you'll take his loaded trailer, hook up, and go. All right, got to Laramie, Wyoming, Saturday morning. No go, driver. Interstate shut down. Interstate didn't get open till Monday afternoon. So, trailer trucking all through the night up to Twin Falls, Idaho. Got the load up there, got it unloaded. Got up to the yard uh, Tuesday night, slept in the motel. Wednesday or Tuesday night went over to the office on Wednesday Turned in the 579 said here's your truck back. It's your problem. Oh, by the way the check engine light came on as I got to Twin Falls So that's your problem. Here's your key I'm out So then they flew me home. I got home Thursday and uh, spent all last weekend at the house hanging out with friends doing things with friends and family having a fun weekend Monday this last Monday uh, went down to Glencoe Minnesota picked up a 10 foot wide 14 tall tractor and brought it out here to Farmington New Mexico um, got unloaded with that this afternoon actually Came down here to Gallup, New Mexico. Uh, I'm, I'm, I've been hanging out here the whole time. I got here about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, mountain time. So that's what I'm doing. Now I'm just waiting on another load and to see where I'm going next. But yeah, all I know is driving this truck so far from Missoula, Montana, Omaha, Nebraska, up home, up to home, then from home out here to New Mexico, I'm like, holy shit, it's a different truck. I don't, knock on wood, wherever wood is, fake wood, but it's, it's wood, right? Knock on wood, um, no check engine light, no duff problems. No emission problems. None of that bullshit. So. You know. Do all the praying that I can do. That this one doesn't do the same shit. So hopefully in two years. I can have this fucker paid off. Have the title to it. Go to the dealership and go. Give me a 379 boys. So. That's what the plan is. That's what's up. Um, but yeah. So happy too that I got the 386 I got out of the 579. Why? Because I got my striker radio back. I mean, probably a sunlight's not going to work good, but see? I got my striker radio. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a new truck, but. At least it has 
the old school dash feel to it. So even though I'm driving it, you know, and I've been driving both of them, it's like this truck and the sleeper's still the same as the 379. So it's like in the cab and in, in the sleeper, I feel like I'm back in my 379 again, right? And what's really weird is when I drove the 579, the difference between the 579 and the 386, the 386, I feel when I'm when I'm behind the wheel, I feel like I'm in an owner op truck just because I have the old school dash, I have the old school feel, right? So I feel like I'm back to an owner operator. When I drove the 579, I literally felt like I was a, just a fucking company driver. I was like, yep, just another fucking truck. Just another truck. This one, I actually feel like it's it's mine. I, I don't know what, what it is, but it's just weird like that. But, but that's what's going on, guys. Um, I guess I'll keep you in the loop. Um, completely forgot to take a video with the load on, but I was kind of like all just like a little, the whole trip I was kind of like excited about, you know, the maiden voyage and all that shit, so, but, yeah, like always, if you are a subscriber, thank you very much, uh, if you're not, make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit that bell so you know when I come up with new videos all the time. And always, guys, keep the shiny side up, greasy side down. We'll catch you on the flip.